Hi everyone, welcome to day 17 of our 21 day yin yoga challenge. Today we are looking at the throat chakra, obviously located in the throat. <laughs> so today we're going to use yin yoga postures and breath to stimulate and cleanse this chakra. The throat chakra governs our communication. So if the throat chakra is under or overactive, then maybe we're talking too much or not enough. Or maybe our communication isn't honest or even kind. So as we move through our practice today, we want to just be aware of our communication, not just the kind of communication we have with other people, but the kind of communication we have with ourselves. Are we speaking easily and kindly? Are we speaking our truth? Are we being authentic? Are we speaking up when we need to? Are we speaking too much or not enough? So these are the kinds of subjects that will come up when we're dealing with the throat. So I want you to come straight into a seated position. I'm going to sit onto a cushion. You can too. Okay, so close the eyes for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths. So in through the nose and out through the nose if you can. Let that breath soothe the body. So as you take that deep breath in, feeling yourself up. Taking in energy, taking in oxygen. And then as you're breathing out, letting that breath out soothe the body, allowing the body to let go and release its tension. So breathing down into the belly as we have been so far and softening a little each time you breathe out. So I'll give you an option to use ujjayi breath today, which is a really fantastic way to start to stimulate the throat chakra. So ujjayi breath or ocean breath is just making a gentle constriction at the back of the throat so that your breath begins to make a whisper or a gentle noise like the ocean, or sometimes it's called Darth Vader breath. So as if you were whispering or as if you were steaming up your glasses to, to clean them, just that very gentle constriction in the back of the throat so that you begin to make a whispering sound with the breath. So not too tense in the throat, try to be relaxed, but just that very gentle constriction. Let your breath become even, so the in-breath and the out-breath become similar or the same. You can begin to imagine a ball of light emanating from the th throat, and this light is blue. Don't worry if you're not so much with the imagination. Some people just don't enjoy that kind of practice, but if it feels right to you, just beginning to picture and imagine this blue ball of light at the throat. Breathing with Ujjayi breath. and bringing your attention to the throat so that you actually feel the feeling of the throat. You really bring your attention to that area and the feeling of that area. And maybe you imagine this ball of blue light glowing in the throat. Now you can keep your eyes closed or you can open your eyes and just keep your gaze low but we're going to come into the first posture and this is just a simple neck movement so bringing your chin to your chest. So the spine is still tall. 
So keeping that even Ujjayi breath. Still bringing our attention to the throat. And imagining that blue ball of light. Bringing your head back, still sitting up tall. Just letting your head drop back behind you. Stretching through the front of the throat. And if you can, maintaining your ujjayi breath. attention back to the throat if you've wandered away. So remember to always be kind and compassionate to yourself. How, if you did wander off there and you lost your concentration, how did you communicate with yourself when you noticed you had? Was you frustrated with yourself? Are you expecting perfection? This is the kind of communication we want to be aware of. Bringing your head back to centre, taking your left ear down to your left shoulder with an option to take the fingertips up onto the top of the head and gently just help this stretch along. If you prefer to, you can just keep your head rest, your hand resting into your knee. Keep that ujjayi breath going. Bringing more and more attention to the throat, becoming more and more aware of the sensation of the throat itself. Bringing your head back to the center, taking your right ear down to your right shoulder. Same again, you can use fingertips to help this along. Be very gentle though, don't be yanking, cranking the neck, just very gentle help if you're doing that. Ujjayi breath, attention at the throat, blue ball of light. Just stay there for a little longer. The mind may want to jump off onto other things, but remain there. Tune in and listen. We've got nowhere else we need to be. So just be here and breathe. Maybe just becoming aware of how you might be communicating with yourself. If you notice thoughts coming in, if you're being judgmental, if you're being unkind in any way, and the thoughts that you're having about yourself or about others. Bringing your head back to centre and just a little head wobble from side to side. Okay, so we're coming into a supported fish pose. So the feet will stay resting into the floor. I'm gonna use blocks, but you can absolutely just have a cushion behind you. We want to lean back and get a back bend, but have the head 
tilted back so that we can get opening through the throat. So it doesn't matter if you're gonna use cushions or blocks, they'll both work perfectly. So if you're using blocks, you're gonna take one up onto its smaller side and then the other one will stay flat behind you and your head will rest into that. So this block will land round about where your bra strap would be if you're a woman and you wear a bra. <laughs> so feet resting into the floor, head comes back to the block or to the floor. And if you use blocks and it feels too strong through the back, you can just come onto a cushion instead. So we want this opening through the throat. So closing the eyes. Just allowing that area to soften. Coaxing back in this Ujjayi breath. And the Ujjayi breath also helps you to bring your attention to the area of the throat. And as we rest our attention with the area of the throat and maybe we're visualizing blue, blue light. We can repeat our affirmation. I am safe to speak my truth. I am safe to speak my truth. So keep a lot of attention at the throat and just have this, I am safe to speak my truth, maybe just Sticking around in the background. And if the block on its side becomes too much, you could just have the block flat and maybe take the block away from the head. Just so you get that. So we'll have the head tilted back. Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves back up. Folding over the legs for a moment. Keep that ujjayi breath going, that gentle whisper. Gentle constriction in the back of the throat. And taking slightly deeper breaths in, just sending that breath into the back body. 
letting the back expand out into the space behind you. So we're coming into what's called snail pose in yin and called halasana usually in yoga. Now this posture can be quite challenging in some ways so if it's not for you, if it's too strong then we're just going to do caterpillar instead so your alternative is your forward fold, straight legs and just resting the body forward, letting the chin drop towards the chest so we, now we have a constriction in the throat. So if you have a clip or a hairband you can take that off so that it doesn't dig into the back of the head. Okay, so we can just start here with a cushion underneath the hips, just taking the legs up. And we can have a bend into the legs if we need to, and just taking the feet as far back as they will go. So this is a very gentle, supported, yin-like version. You could even stack another cushion under there and take yourself a little bit further back. If you feel confident to go a little deeper, going to take the feet up and behind so you've got to press into your elbows and then take your hands to the back so you can keep a bend into the legs as you allow the legs to come behind you and maybe there's a cushion here to rest your feet into or a block or bolster and do not bend your head as I am now so keep your head straight you can let the legs be bent feet come back to the floor comfortably you can even let the knees rest towards the forehead. So maybe you keep the hands up onto the back, elbows resting into the floor. Maybe you take the hands down to the floor. If you start to feel comfortable, and you can let the shoulder blades maybe come together a little. Keeping that ujjayi breath going. Remember, if this gets too challenging, we'll just, just switch to caterpillar. Just that basic forward fold of straight legs. So if you're comfortable, you can straighten the legs, but find as much softness as you can in the posture. So this is still yin. There needs to be a bit of activity, but otherwise we're softening. And our affirmation is, I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. So to come out, we can bend the legs and we can pick, take the hands to the floor, let them act as brakes. Rolling down, be as controlled as you can. Taking the feet to the floor. And to counteract that, we're just going to take the hands to the floor, press into the feet and lift the hips high for a moment. Breathe down into the belly. Bring your attention back to the throat. And then release the hips down to the floor. Just lay here for a moment. 
Straighten the legs. Take the arms out to the sides. You can bend your knees and let your knees rest in together if that's more comfortable and supportive for the lower back. We did ask a lot of the body in that last posture. So the body may need a slightly more supportive pose for the next minute. Softening the body, softening the shoulders back into the floor. Giving the weight of your body to the floor. And just bringing your attention once more to the throat. Seeing that blue light. Just continuing that ujjayi breath. It is safe for me to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. It is safe for me to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. It is safe for me to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and for others. On over onto your side. Pause for a moment. It is safe for me to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. It is safe for me to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. Pressing into the palm, coming up to seated. Just sit for a moment, tall, soft shoulders, soft face. You can even send love and light to that area. Softening the throat if you notice that you grip in the neck or the jaw or the throat itself. And as you move through your day, you can just envision that color blue at the throat. And just repeating that affirmation to yourself. I am safe to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. I am safe to speak my truth. I choose kind and loving words for myself and others. Bring your palms together. Bow your head to your fingertips. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Okay, yogis, so that was just a short practice. If you would like me to do a full length practice for the throat chakra and even the other chakras too, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed that and come find me in the Facebook group if you have any questions or anything to share about the journey that you've been going through over these past 17 days.